Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. I hope all is well with you today, and thank you so much for clicking on this pick a card reading. So in this video, we're going to be looking at what people see in you that you don't see, okay, or that you've forgotten about yourself. So this is going to be a more inwardly focused type of reading rather than looking outwardly at other people, okay? So if you're interested in knowing what other people see in you that you don't see in yourself in this psychic reading, all you need to do is choose one of these four piles. As you can see, they are numbered, so it makes things nice and simple. So choose whichever pile you feel drawn to the most. But feel free to pause the video if you need some time to make your decision, or if you need some time for reflection before coming to your decision. Okay, so let's get on into your reading. Click the timestamp and I'll see you there. Okay, group number one. Let's take a look at what people see in you that you don't see in yourself. Or again, this could be something that you have forgotten about. Okay, or that again, you're just not seeing as clearly. So let's take a look at what this pick a card reading has in store for you today. Hold on one second. Are we askew? We are can't be having that. Hold on. So what do other people see in you that you don't see in yourself? What do other people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Group one. Okay, so we have financial constraints in reverse. A man holding a heart. Anxiety. These are all reversed. Adjacent possibilities, and then rest and rejuvenate. Okay. So group one, I'm also I'm I'm surprised the envy card didn't come through because I'm getting this sense that there are people that are envious of you right now because I feel like you've done some leveling up here in your life. Now I feel like people are noticing that you have come through some kind of hardship here in your life okay so maybe this was that you were struggling financially at one point okay but they see that you've come out of that or this may even be about your own security like maybe you were insecure at one point but you seem much more confident within yourself right now like you seem like you are very self-assured okay and that's something that people notice about you that you don't always see Okay, because they also see you as being someone that's very calm, like you have a calm aura surrounding you or emanating from you. And yeah, people feel more at ease in your presence. Although there are some people that feel more at ease in your presence now, but other people that feel less so because you are like a reflection to them or you're projecting what it is they don't feel inside themselves because those that are feeling envious of you or feeling negative towards you, they're not feeling restful, they're not feeling at peace within themselves. So seeing you being in such a peaceful place can, can rub people up the wrong way, okay? But it's like you can't win, can you, in this life in that respect? Like not everybody's going to be happy for you, not everyone's going to be happy about you getting into a good place. But there are plenty of people I feel that are happy for you and that want to be positively influenced by your very tranquil aura, okay? Now, you may have also been somebody that has come through a lot of stress, okay? I see like you've had a lot of obstacles and struggles in your life. But the way people see you is that you seem very mentally strong, Okay, like you're not somebody that seems phased by things, like you don't seem phased by minute things or I don't know, just things in general. Like you seem like you just handle everything calmly, even if you don't feel like that on the inside. That's certainly the projection that people are assessing about you. Okay, they feel like you are definitely somebody that would handle like a dramatic situation very calmly or that, you know, you'd be somebody that's very good in an emergency situation. Maybe some of you work within like the emergency services. Okay, or people think that you would actually be a really great person to have on hand because of the way you handle things so calmly. 
Now, for some of you, you may have had a very painful relationship, okay? Which, I mean, I'm sure we've all had painful relationships, haven't we, at different points. But there's something quite prominent about this relationship. Like, I don't know if it was, like, you were a well-known couple in your local community or something, or whether there was some kind of scandal, or maybe the breakup was just quite big or quite explosive, or... Maybe you were the type of couple that were together a long time and then when you split, it shocked people. There's something about a relationship coming through that seems very poignant here. And not that people are assessing you in terms of the relationship, but I feel like they may have even seen that you've progressed since that relationship, since that relationship ended, okay? Yeah, so they may see that maybe you weren't as calm before, but you seem much calmer now. Now, maybe that you're away from this situation or that maybe you feel free and that you see much more yourself and at peace being out of this, okay? Or maybe not being in a particular relationship for a certain amount of time. But I also feel like people see you as somebody that is very decisive, Okay, but also there's a sense of loyalty coming through here, like that you are somebody that sticks with things or sticks with certain people. So you may be somebody that's had a certain group of friends for a very long time that have stuck by you or again, maybe a certain relationship because obviously this, this situation may not apply for everybody. Like with all these readings, not everything is going to apply or maybe it will, but obviously time will tell. But there's something about you sticking with people or maybe even having a close family network and maybe that's something you post about or people are always seeing you with these particular people. So it's like people see you that you have staying power with relationships and people, but maybe this is also about in connection to your passions, in connection to your career, like being very focused and driven, okay? I definitely get that energy from you. Like people see you as not somebody that's on the fence and always dipping in and out. What should I do? Should I do this? Should I do that? Or flipping between different things or even, you know, like relationship hopping. I don't feel like people see you as that. Even if you are, maybe, maybe you are more covert about it, but like, it's like people feel like you're more of a all or nothing type of person. Yeah, I didn't want to look at this deck yet. I wanted to look at the wisdom deck next. Okay, so what do people see in you at this time that you don't see in yourself or that you may have forgotten? Okay, this one just flew out. So we've got Unfinished Symphony. Okay, so they may see you as having some kind of unfinished business. Now, I don't know how that works collectively, like how generally people are seeing, oh, you've got unfinished business, but maybe, maybe you went on some kind of a break. Like maybe this was a social media break or... Like a just maybe you just withdrew from society or again, your community in some way. I don't know. Or maybe you stopped doing something that you were very talented at. Okay, and people feel like you've still got a lot left to give. So yeah, maybe that you were, you were displaying a particular talent or maybe more than one talent, but people haven't seen you do it in a long time or people feel like you've still got more left to come. Okay, now this could be very musical. I definitely feel like it's something creative. It's a talent you have that's very creative. But it, yeah, it could be music. We've got the piano there. We've got the music notes. So it could be singing, um, playing the piano, playing another instrument, okay? Or creating music um, with technology, whatever that may be, okay? I definitely feel like it's something that really lights you up inside, okay? Could even be some form of art, could be dance, Okay, something where that I feel like there's music involved though with this. Whatever this talent is, I feel like yeah, there's a there's music involved. Maybe even this could you could even be like a sketch artist, but maybe you listen to certain pieces of music to inspire you whilst creating it, or maybe even the particular types of music that you use to put on the video if you do post things online. Maybe it's the connection to the music and what you're posting as well. Like I feel like. Yes, definitely a strong musical connection coming through. Okay, so what else is coming through here? What do people see in you that you don't always see in yourself? Okay. Well, again, sometimes we just need to be reminded of things. These might be quite obvious things to you, but sometimes it's like, it's nice to hear that other people can see that too. Not that we need other people's validation, but again, sometimes we can be our own worst critics. And it's nice to be able to know that we are valued, appreciated in different ways. Okay. 
or also to have corroboration about how certain people feel towards us. Okay, but how, what people see in you that you don't see in yourself always or that you've forgotten, I feel like <clears throat> they also see that you are very fair <clears throat> as a person. Like you seem like you are very balanced, okay? Because this is the energy of Libra, which is air energy and it needs to feel like it's in harmony okay it doesn't like confrontation okay so they people as a whole don't see you as a confrontational person okay maybe this is now maybe things were different previously but it, again this is at this current moment this is how people view you they see you as yeah not somebody that wants to get directly involved maybe in something dramatic or in other people's business although libra can be a little bit of a gossip okay libra can be gossipy so you may for some of you, you may recognize that in yourself you might gossip a little bit could be okay but as a whole it's not getting directly involved okay it's not like getting in between in an argument or something like that okay it's a need for no conflict to just get on with everybody you know libra is ruled by venus the planet of love and relationships and yeah i feel like that's more the energy that you're giving off, the Venusian energy, okay? But also something about your appearance there. I feel like you've had a glow up, okay? I feel like, like I said at the beginning, there's a leveling up here that I feel people are envious of. And it's like you've become more and more attractive. Like the older you get, the more attractive you become. And I feel like that's something that people notice. And they may even attribute it to your, your overall energy being different. Because again, it's like what's on the inside reflects on the outside. And it's like you start to feel calm and more peaceful within, and then it starts to be reflected in your outer appearance. So you're definitely looking like more and more attractive, I feel. And people are noticing, okay? People definitely notice that. And people definitely think you're somebody very, very beautiful. But also, I do feel people think that you've changed, okay? But changed for the better. But again, they may feel like, you do hold back sometimes with that unfinished symphony. Like as a whole, they see you, like I said, in this positive light, in a calmer light. But again, maybe that you're even a bit more tentative about putting yourself out there at times. But it's like they still see you as being focused and gung-ho when you do decide to commit to something, you do commit completely. But it's like people feel like you are you're missing out in some way, not missing out, or more like they're missing out on what you aren't, you aren't giving. Something about maybe even privacy, holding back, like people think that you're holding back with your gifts in some way. Now, maybe you're doing this consciously or unconsciously. Maybe you're afraid of outshining people. Maybe that's something that happened previously and you had a lot of backlash from it. Okay, but there's something about you adjusting, making changes. And maybe this is something you've done consciously, but it may be more so unconscious. Okay, things that you haven't tried to do, but it's been a natural byproduct of the life experiences you've had. Okay, what do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Okay, so we've got Owl. And then we have wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. And then there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. So yet yeah, again, transition. People think that you are moving right now, that you are in a state of change. Okay, so maybe for some of you, this is actually moving as well. Maybe you're relocating or maybe you're always on the go, like always moving or always traveling to different places. Like something to do with flying here as well. So maybe people see you as flying, flying up quite high, maybe actually flying in a plane or doing a skydive um, or being connected to birds specifically. Okay, or maybe even engaging with a lot of things connected with birds. But I also feel with the owl symbology, there's a level of wisdom here that people feel like you have. People do think that you are very wise intellectually, but also wise again, from the experiences of struggle that you've been through, but also because they've seen you struggle and they've seen you come through the other side. And that's what's truly inspiring to them. And again, even threatening to some people. The people that are ready to be inspired by you will be. 
Okay, the people that are feeling threatened by your level up are people that aren't ready to level up themselves, okay? Or they're not willing to level up. So instead of actually being inspired and doing good things to level themselves up, they will try to tear you down because they're not ready. That's how you need to see it, okay? Not that they are horrible people, maybe they are, but that they've got their own healing to do within. They've got their, they're on their own journey. Some people are meant to be positively impacted by us, some people not so much. We all have our own different experiences on this earthly plane with different people. But here, look, your heart's desire is ready to come true. So I feel like people see that there's something that you are about to attain here or that you're really close to receiving something. So whether this be, maybe it's a relationship for some of you, maybe this is reaching a certain level of notoriety, of fame, of recognition. Yeah, something like they feel like you're getting close to. Maybe they're not cont like intellectually thinking that, but they may be more so sensing that, sensing that you are meant for bigger things kind of picking up on potential fame here, like wish is giving me star energy, wishing on a star, being a star, being noticed. Um, and do feel you are going to be somebody very well known, or maybe you currently, you already are, maybe you have like a large social media following, or maybe you're very well known in your community, in your town, in your city. But I feel like people see that you are destined for bigger things, definitely. Okay, but they also feel like you're quite lucky, okay? There's like a lucky energy coming through with you. And you may not feel like that. I mean, I think it's a nice thing. Affirm that you're lucky, okay? It doesn't mean that lucky people don't work for things as well that they receive. Luck is just luck, okay? But it's like lucky girl syndrome. Think about it. Think about how lucky you are. Just keep reaffirming it and the universe will keep showing you how it's true. Okay. What do people see in you that you don't see? Okay, we've got the four of coins. Yeah, again, people feel like you do hold back in some way. So whether that's like to do with posting on social media, like you hold back, you don't post a lot or you post very little or nothing. Um, but also maybe in terms of actually when you meet people for the first time or like you may not give a lot away about yourself. Okay, I feel like, like you are more of a listener than a talker okay well that's how people are seeing you or that even if you do talk like you're not talking about your personal life like something about you maybe even deflecting the questions back onto them so you don't have to get into personal things king of wands king of coins something connected to men here or masculine energy we've got the King of Wands, King of Coins, Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I don't know whether there's something connected to, maybe you're seen with certain males a lot at the moment. Okay, whether these are friends, whether these are colleagues, uh, romantic partners, people you're dating, family members. But something about masculine energy coming through. But then I see here some kind of a split, a Four of Wands. I just feel like... But the Four of Wands is giving me party energy and I feel like this is more about maybe like you don't go out that much or you don't socialize that much. Maybe you don't socialize with females. If you're a female, maybe you're seen to be socializing more with men. That could be for some of you. But it could be as well. Oh my goodness, I feel like, and if you are a female, I feel like you are admired by a lot of men. Like physically, romantically, I feel like you are admired. And this might be as well what that envy is about. Okay, maybe a lot of people feel envious about the fact that you get a lot of male attention. Okay, let's get some visual messages to close this out. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Okay. Change is coming. Yeah. So again, I feel like you don't maybe necessarily acknowledge how much you have grown, how much you have changed as a person over the years. Okay. But people really see it, but they see it for the better. They see improvement in most ways. Okay. Um, we've got move it or lose it. So again, that makes sense there that 
that is your energy. Yeah, move it or lose it. It's all or nothing. Okay, that's how they see you. You're not somebody, yeah, that's just dipping in and out. Like you either give your full attention, your full energy, or you're not going to engage. Like you may even be the type of person that you'll, like if you're with a person, you're one on one, you're listening to them, you give them your full attention, you're not always on your phone or distracted, you give it all to them in that moment. Okay, I definitely see that. And then loyal and honorable. Again, that's come through. People do see that you are a very loyal and honorable person, like that you do follow your, your principles, okay, and your morals. Almost there. So yeah, again, people feel like they see you being much closer to achieving something. Like with that star, like, yeah, so people see you as being on the precipice of getting something. Maybe this is something you feel as well, group one. Like you feel like, yeah, I'm really close. There's something, I can feel it's on the horizon. Okay, but maybe this is, again, this is what you're maybe not seeing. So I feel like even the people around you are seeing that something big is gonna happen for you. But again, you may not be noticing it. Okay, we've got stillness. Wednesday, and then I'm planning on coming back to you. Now, Wednesday is making me think, immediately I thought of Mercury because Mercury rules Wednesday um, as a day of the week. And Mercury rules the, uh, the signs Virgo and Gemini. So you may resonate with Virgo Gemini energy, but I feel like there is, a, you know, there's a lot of chattiness with Gemini Virgos. They do need a lot of communication, a lot of stimulation on an intellectual level. So again, people feel like you do, yeah, you are definitely somebody that needs a lot of that. Now, again, whether this is that you, some, some of you might be a talker, but again, even if you're a big talker, like I said, I don't feel like it's talking about you personally. I feel like it's talking about other things or um, about the person you're talking to more so, okay? But like I said, I do feel like this pile is also a great listener. So people feel like you, yeah, I feel like that's maybe even a talent of yours. You're, you could be a talented communicator. You know, you, you have a talent in your voice in some way. And people very much admire that about you. But also your stillness, okay? Stillness, your peace. Like the fact that you seem so at peace. You maybe even seem so unbothered by people. Because this could be, you know, their false perceptions. For instance, certain people thinking that you're not confident enough to put yourself out there, whereas you may feel inside it's it's not about confidence, it's more about not caring to project certain things to other people, not caring about other people's opinions, not caring to share things, okay? Either way. So obviously these are people's perceptions, doesn't mean that it's all going to be true, but I do feel, I feel like there's a part of that that may be true for you, group one, but obviously take it if it resonates, okay? There's a part of you that may feel like you do need to hold back, but another part of you that feels like you're happy to hold back, you know, when it feels right, you'll share, whether that's sharing through online or sharing about your life to other people, you'll share, and in other times you won't, you know? Virgo is the hermit, so you might naturally like feel like that's your natural disposition. And then the last card, I'm planning on coming back to you, which is odd, isn't it? In terms of the question, I'm planning on coming back to you. So people, people see, I don't know, maybe people see somebody trying to go back to you. Maybe there are multiple people from your past that want to return into your life. Maybe that they, if they screwed you over, now they're regretting it because they realize how truly loyal and honorable you are as a person and they want to be a part of your life again. So this might be like a collective message. Certain people that, yeah, have done you wrong want to come in. Okay, but also, yeah, I don't know, maybe this is something that's seen publicly. Like, see, maybe you get back together with an ex, okay? Or something is seen like where somebody maybe even like professes their love for you, okay, outwardly in front of people. But it feels like it's past energy because obviously coming back to you, there's an element of past there. So I'm, oh, but that could again be, like I said, about, you know, the talent, that unfinished symphony, something that you... Like it may have put on the back burner one of your talents that you've put here and people think that you may then return to that talent or there's a hope that they, you'll return to it. Very interesting. So I hope that this resonates. I would love to know if you did find that it resonates with you. Please comment below, okay? And give us your feedback, we'd love to know. And please give the video a like if you did enjoy this reading. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Okay, group number two. 
let's take a look at what people see in you that you don't see in yourself. Okay, now these could be things that you don't see in yourself currently. Sometimes it's nice to be reminded of those things because we can be our own worst critics, can't we? So let's see, what do people see in you that either you don't see now or that you've forgotten about? Okay, so this one flew, as you saw, out of the deck. We've got by the book. Okay. Yin. What do people see in you that you don't see in yourself? Chaos and conflict, and then breathe. Okay. Interesting, it's an interesting dynamic, okay? Because most of this, these three cards in particular are very, very calm, very relaxed, very safe. Okay, but then we've got this chaos and conflict here, which is the opposite, okay? But we'll come to that, we'll come to that. I just feel like, let's begin with the by the book. Okay, so something about you being traditional is coming through, okay? So maybe this is something, Maybe like you've had some, you're in a traditional type of relationship, like you're with a partner and you have a child or you're with a partner and you are planning to have a child or you moved in together with a partner and you're planning to get married, okay? And doing things in a conventional way, okay? It doesn't have to be about family um, or re relationships as such. It could be also in terms of like even following a family business, okay? Like maybe, yeah, if you've got a family business you're involved in, maybe people are seeing that within you or within you or seeing you do that. But this could also be like, you seem like you're very close to family as well. You could be somebody that's always seen with family or always seen being, yeah, doing things with them, sharing time with them, maybe posting about them. Yeah, so they definitely see something about you being a, like a traditionalist in that sense. And yeah, doing things kind of the right way. Like not doing things in, in the wrong way or in a haphazard manner, but doing things, you know, strategically. People think that you are somebody that takes your time to make certain choices and that, you know, something about you being quite sensible in that respect, okay? And then we've got yin, which is feminine, out of the yin and the yang. The yin is the feminine and it's much more introverted. It's much softer and uh, introspective, okay? So people feel like, yeah, you're not somebody that's, brash or it doesn't matter whether you're man or woman watching this but you're somebody that is like I said you take your time before taking a risk okay now there may be an element of risk taking here which I'll get to but as a whole as a collective I feel like people see you as yeah taking your time assessing the risks before you invest okay whether that's in certain people whether that's financially whatever that may be, okay? But I also feel like people see you investing in your appearance, okay? Like they feel like you definitely have like something, like a soft look about you, okay? Not that you're a soft person or a pushover, but more so like just, yeah, in your physical outer appearance. Maybe you wear like soft flowing um, dresses or t-shirts, okay? Or scarves or even the color pink okay maybe you've recently worn something pink and you've or you posted a picture of you in something pink okay something about you looking very very feminine or even if you're a masculine watching this i mean having feminine features as a mass uh, as a masculine can be a very attractive trait usually it's the mix isn't it even with females it's the androgyny it's having a mixture of masculine feminine features that can be you know very alluring um but so yeah regardless what you, what gender you are. I just feel like, yeah, there's a softness to your appearance here. Uh, maybe again in your face, you might have very big round eyes, like a maybe a rounder face, like less angular, less, um, what's the word? I don't know, I just like rounder even. I'm just saying like round, and maybe even very curvaceous if you're a female, or again, even a male, like you could have very curvaceous figure, curvaceous muscles, um, or you know, just the shape to your body. It's, it's very shapely. And I feel like that's very alluring as well. And also again, being in your feminine. So yeah, it's not you, you know, pushing people, doing things outwardly. Like they feel like, yeah, like you're not somebody that will just, yeah, rush into anything. You're not someone that is reckless, but you take your time, okay, to really think about things. 
and also breathe as well. So yeah, I feel like people see you like having an overall calming presence, okay? But then I am interested because of the chaos and conflict card, okay? Because this doesn't feel like it's you though, to me. Everything else feels, like I said, much more calm, feminine, soft, traditional. Maybe this is something people have just started noticing in you. Maybe you do have a fiery edge to you. Maybe, you know, you feel like there's a lot more to you than what meets the eye. Okay, maybe it's people, like, the, I'm seeing, like, all of this burning going on here in the stomach, like, of this zebra. Like, it's, like, there's this burning desire there within you, but maybe that you don't follow that. Like, you may follow, yeah, well, this is the right way to do things, you know, type A personality, X, Y, Z, you know, do it this way. Um rather than going in a different direction, but they sense that there's a need or something within you that wants to kind of leap out, to branch out, to do something more, okay? Um, but this may also be people have noticed that you have been having some kind of conflict with other people recently, even though that may not be your natural disposition, um, it, you know, it's a natural part of life um, and different stages of life, and it may be that yeah, there's been a bit of a struggle with certain people. Or maybe, for instance, you've had a great, strong family network, um, but you've struggled with friendships, okay, or something like that. We'll see. Let's get some more information. Just knock the mic. I need to move it here. Okay. So what are people seeing you that you don't see in yourself or that you don't see in yourself right now? Okay, what are people seeing you? You've got the heart chakra in reverse. Victory in reverse. Attachment. The thinking woman. Okay. And then anxiety reversed. Yeah, I feel like people see that you... Like you may have a blocked heart chakra. Okay, now again, they may not say that outwardly, but... Something about you being cold emotionally at this time. Like maybe there was a need to because of some failure here with the victory card reversed. Yeah, people are noticing something, something that has gone wrong. Okay, so maybe that's something you shared collectively with people, something that's gone badly. Um, or maybe that's something that just people know about you in general, that you've, maybe you've had a lot of failures, but you always come back out on top. Okay, but I definitely feel like there's a connection to the chaos and conflict. So... Even though things feel lovely and calm, I feel like there was an, something else here that feels like it went horribly wrong here. Yeah, it feels very painful, whatever this was. This could even be, for some of you, I feel like this could even be a passed on loved one. And it could have been a shock. It could have been something very unexpected, okay? Something that caused you a lot of turmoil and upheaval, okay? Or again, like I said, this could be arguments with people. Hmm. So people may feel like you've won, wait, what was it? You've lost the fight, but you won the battle or won the war. Like you lost the fight, but you're winning the war as a whole. But then we've got the attachment card here. So people feel like you are attached. Like they see you as being attached in some way, but maybe even seeing you potentially being a bit codependent. Okay. Um, but in some way, they may see it as being to your detriment here. Because look how she's got the chain around her wrist. Like she's chained to that pillar. So people see you as being chained to something. Like you can't release, like you can't let go, like you can't escape. So this could be a relationship. Like it could be a marriage, could be, like I said, a relationship, a job. But, I mean, we've got, by the book... We've got the family scenario, so maybe doing things traditionally, but it, maybe they see you as not being happy about it. Something about you not, like you feeling like a caged animal in some way. Hmm. I get the sense people are worried about you a little bit at the moment. Like you may not be sharing what's actually going on in your life that's causing you pain. Like you may be like... You know, like a Stepford wife, just brushing it all under the rug, everything's fine, like smile plastered on your face. Um, yeah, everything's great, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm all good, I'm happy, happy, happy. Like, that's the energy I get. But I feel like behind the mask you're wearing, there's, there's more here and people are sensing something's off. So something, yeah, may be happening in your, your home life. Um, 
And I feel for you, group two, if this is the case. There's something, something's brewing here. And that people are, people are starting to have awareness of. Okay, now obviously that's not going to be necessarily everybody, you know, especially if you're not someone that posts a lot on social media. Um, this will be, certain people will have different, obviously different perceptions of us. The people that are closest to us will have a different perception to what people outwardly will have. But this is a collective. So it's going to be a mix of, you know, people you don't know so well, but know of you. And obviously people that you do know. Okay, so, and I feel like that's definitely coming through. Like maybe this, like some people are seeing you as like, like the Stepford wife type of scenario. Everything's great, everything's wonderful, everything looks wonderful on social media, but then the people closest to you are seeing that there is, there's more going on than meets the eye, okay? Um, because the thinking woman in reverse as well, I feel like, yeah, they feel like you are withholding, you're withholding your true thoughts. They're, I feel like in that sense, because usually when I see the anxiety card in reverse, I see it as a good thing, like a release of anxiety. Um, but I'm getting the sense here for you that this is like, you don't want to get into this anxious place, so you choose to hide what's going on in your life, like what negative things are happening, or that you're not truly happy in some way when it comes to this attachment. Okay, so yeah, it's like, like prey animals in the wild, okay? Or just prey animals in general, they have that instinct within them to hide their illnesses, to hide what's really going on inside. And you know, they don't do it on purpose, they're just doing it as a protective mechanism because obviously the weak um, always ends up getting picked off, okay? Or obviously eaten. So, um, hold on, my nail, I just ripped my nail, okay. Um, I was just trying, you know, like, there's just a little piece hanging off. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. You don't want to know about that. But if you just see my nail afterwards, please, please be mindful. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, it's something about you hiding how you really feel. Because, yeah, in some way that is you protecting, protecting yourself. So, yeah, people see you as being in quite a protective space. Okay. So, let's just get some more information though how people are seeing you, things that you don't see in yourself, because maybe you're not seeing this as clearly. Maybe you're not realizing that there is something you're trying to release. Like maybe as well, like you're trying, instead of wanting to get too worried about what's going on, you're just keeping busy, busy, busy. Okay. For some of you, you might even be nesting. You might even be pregnant. Okay. For some of you. Um, okay. But let me see. How are people seeing you right now? Or what are people seeing that you can't see at this time? Owl. Interesting, it came through in group one's reading. Judgment. Okay, I'm gonna get one more. Abundance. Okay, so lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success and prosperity. So yeah, again, there is that sense of yeah, you having abundance, which is having more than you need. It's having a lot of something. So maybe for some of you, this is, I feel for some of you, this is definitely children. Like you might be having multiple children or you may already have multiple children. Okay, or this is like multiple friends. Like there's a lot of people here. Okay, or people feel like maybe even like financially, you're in a good place, you're leveling up. Like I don't see any financial struggle here, but again, that may be the outward projection that certain people are seeing. But we've got judgment there. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Okay, so I do feel like, not that people are judging you, but I feel like people are, well, judging is simply just, you know, we can assess a situation. We're judging whether something is safe, for instance. Okay, judging doesn't always have to be bringing somebody down. Um, but some people, again, it depends. You may, if you can identify yourself as being a bit judgmental sometimes, they may see you as being a little bit judgmental, okay? Or it just, the way that it comes across, again, it may not be intentional, okay? But I feel like this is more so a message of people thinking that there's something that needs to change in your life, okay? There needs to be some kind of an awakening for your betterment, okay? Because the thing is as well with the owl, it's like people feel like you are a smart person, like they don't feel like you're a stupid person or a person that makes silly mistakes, but you're a person that's very empathetic, very kind, very nurturing, but also again, very wise, but that you may not be 
using your judgment at the moment to make certain wise decisions okay they may see you as being more like up in the clouds or again in their perception of you feeling like you are ignoring potential issues okay brushing things under the rug but again it's i feel like it's hard for people to almost watch this if that's the case like they feel like they want to be able to help but they know it's like you're almost like an outward like you're you're hiding or only maybe for some of you only coming out at night or like like you're hibernating in the winter and like they can't get through to you in some way four of pentacles so again look i mean there's a sense of being trapped again i'm just noticing this well even though it's technically her the cape or whatever but it feels like it's a string wrapped around her i just feel like something about people seeing you being trapped in a situation maybe it's because of finances they may see you as being trapped in a situation financially what are people seeing about you that you're not seeing about yourself the high priestess in reverse the five of swords okay page of wands and the queen of wands okay i mean you could be a fire dominant aries leo sagittarius don't have to be there's something about you not not being secretive as a whole like you're somebody maybe like you wear your heart on your sleeve or you know you share a lot of your life or you appear to share a lot but i feel like people do see you as having a level of again strategy there in some way like with this five of swords okay because i feel like there's an element of holding back being strategic about what you tell to different people like even like you may say everything's fine to one person but you may tell this person here um, actually everything isn't okay i'm not feeling good okay or and you may even say this on the same day but then it may be these two people talk and then they're confused by what you're saying i feel like yeah, something about you giving off mixed messages. Or even if, let's say, I don't know, you writing something online for other people. But something about the way that you're writing, it may seem like there's a hidden message there. Or like, I guess, the equivalent of posting a quote, for instance. Like, say you're going through something hard and you, you post a quote. You don't directly say what's going on, but you post something alluding to that, okay? Or this may be, again, the way that you're communicating with people. It's kind of like talking in circles a little bit, okay? Keeping people confused. And again, I don't necessarily think you're doing that on purpose, but I do feel like there's a level of protection here that you what you do want to protect yourself, you want to protect your situation. Maybe this is protecting your family or protecting your energy, okay? You may even be just lacking trust in certain people at this time. Like, I feel like you're definitely in more of a defensive place, or certainly that's how people are seeing you as being, yeah, quite defensive, um, again, quite cold, not being willing to open up on a deeper level but again it, it's like sunshine and rainbows if, if you are projecting an image it's sunshine and rainbows but if you're not sorry i just saw a message pop through okay um this is more of yeah there's some kind of calculation people can't quite understand what's going on with you right now okay but the page of wands and the queen of the queen of wands so there's something about a new beginning coming through here so they may see you yeah that you're about to start something new okay this could be a new job a new relationship again maybe having a new child getting a new pet you know we've got dogs there we've got cute little rabbits there oh i miss my bunny so much um yeah they could be seeing that yeah you're about to venture into something new maybe this is where you've been you've been preparing and you're ready um, but with the Queen of Wands here as well, like people do see you as a confident person, okay, even if you are feeling a certain type of way inside, people definitely don't see you as being weak, okay, even though they may see you being attached or trapped in a situation, they still don't see you as like, you know, like a person that can be, like I said, walked all over or weak like that, not at all, okay, people still see that you've got a, a you know, a level of strength to you and a level of power, but again, it, I'm just so drawn to the fact that she's got her arms crossed over her chest, like crossed over her heart area. Like people feel like you are very protective right now of your heart. And again, protected of like the people that are closest to you. 
okay? Like, there's something about fierce loyalty coming through. They see you as an incredibly loyal person, okay? Um, but also that you're a fighter. Like, you don't give up. Even though you may have struggled, you may have had some of these um, failures in the past, I feel like maybe even this is what people may see possibly to your detriment, okay? That you will hold on longer than maybe you should always, okay? Like the equivalent of holding on to barbed wire. The whole, the tighter you grip, the more you bleed. And it's only when you release your grip that you can start to heal, okay? So let's see what else comes through. Oh my God, just as I said that, can you believe it? Let it go. Let it go. So yeah, people either see or notice that you've either let something go or maybe you are needing to or wanting to let something go. Okay, I'm just going to pull a few here and then I'll read them out to you. All right. What do we have here? Monkey. I need you here with me. <laughs> you are being watched. Try something new. Codependency. Hostile. Coming clean. Nail tech. Fashion designer and extreme. Okay. So people may notice in a physical way, in a physical way, maybe you always have your nails done. Okay. Or maybe that is your job. Okay. Um, there's something about your hands, your nails, maybe they're always well kept, okay? So again, in that kind of way of having a facade, like I do feel like you're somebody that dresses nicely, that puts yourself together well, and people definitely notice that. So I feel like that, that really does draw them into you, you know, the way that you look. But I feel like, yeah, like I said, people are worried about what's going on on the inside because we've got hostile so people may feel like as a whole, maybe you are a bit hostile with them or that you're not trusting of them in some way or that you may be involved in a hostile situation. And yeah, coming clean. They may see that you need to come clean and let, let out what's really going on in your life. Like maybe that you really need someone here with you, okay? Like I feel like, especially these, this is coming from like close people to you, close friends or close family, like that you may not be realizing how much you need certain people to be close to you right now okay but i feel like people want you to to open up people want to be let into what's really going on in your life okay because like they feel like they can't help you if you don't share it with them but there's such a block going on here okay but i feel like people if you allow them to they want to be there for you okay they do. Now, for some of you, you may have actually come clean from some kind of drug or alcohol addiction, you know, or something else that was very much detrimental to you. So they may see you have coming through that, especially if, yeah, it could have been an extreme addiction to something. Okay. Or maybe that there are certain extremes to you, like you will, you'll go after something when you want it in an extreme way, or maybe you have some kind of extreme reaction to something. I don't know. Maybe you dress in quite an extreme way, but extreme is just very intense, isn't it? Maybe people do have that intensity about you at the moment, but I feel like it's the intensity as well and maybe even the extremity that is connected to you are being watched because I do feel like a lot of people watch you, group two, a lot of people, whether you realize it or not, okay? You are somebody that people may even like to gossip about, like to talk about, but it's clear that clearly there's <laughs> there's something interesting about you. Think about it. It's like they're a fan, really. They can't stop looking at you. They can't stop looking at what's going on with you. Because I feel like there's also, because there's always something new going on with you. Like you're always either going somewhere new, starting something new, having another child, or starting a new relationship, or like there's always something to watch basically with you, I feel. Okay, or people like are wanting to see what's really going on with you. But the monkey as well, like I feel like when you're in a good space, you're also someone very funny. Okay, I feel like people like to be around your energy, like as a whole. And I feel like you have that kind of, or like maybe at the moment you are in more of an extreme focused place, but I feel like maybe your natural disposition is to be more like a monkey, like to jump from tree to tree, to have a bit of fun, um, 
and not to take things so seriously. So yeah, I feel like as a whole people see you like that, but you may be having a moment where you are not in that space as much as you were previously. But anyway, that's what I see for you, group two. I hope that it resonates with you. Please feel free to share in the comments if it does. We'd love to have your feedback. And please give the video a like if you did enjoy this reading also. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link is below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Okay, group number three. Let's take a look at what people see in you that you're not seeing in yourself. Okay, let's take a look. So this could be what you're not seeing in yourself just now, because sometimes we can forget about things. We can also be our own worst critics, okay? But sometimes the people around us can see things better than we can because they have a different perspective. So that's all we're doing today is we're just getting another perspective. Okay. So let's take a look. What are people seeing in you that you're not seeing in yourself? Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. A new start is coming. Conclusions are within reach. This is super interesting, okay? And I'll let you know why in just a moment. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. And emotions are running high. Now there tends to be a theme okay, throughout these pick a card readings, even like in each question, no matter what the question is, this is a different question I've ever done. Um, but there seems to be something like a recurring theme for all the piles. I mean, I haven't done pile four yet, so we'll have to see on that front, but where there is like something about newness coming through here, everybody's having some kind of new beginning. And it's almost like the people around you are noticing this more, are sensing or seeing that you're about to start this in some way. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely a recurring theme. But here we've got the energy of Aquarius. Okay, so I feel like people are seeing you as maybe even a bit rebellious at the moment, or they're seeing you as, yeah, you're an outside the box thinker. Okay, you're not somebody that follows the crowd. If anything, you are the leader. Okay, you're the trendsetter. There's something about you being the one to spark things, okay? And other, other people feel inspired by that. Okay, some people that may even be a little bit unsure about you because maybe some of your ideas, your thoughts are quite unconventional or quite out there. They're not the norm in some way, but I feel like that's what really makes you stand out from the crowd. Okay, I don't feel like you're somebody that blends in. Okay, maybe you th feel like you blend in, but maybe this is you not having awareness of how much you stand out, okay? Or maybe you're aware, maybe you, you are aware in some way that you stand out, okay? But I feel like it's in more of a positive way than you realize, okay? And I feel like here with the Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. So I feel like people see you having a lot of drive as well, because when Taurus gets going, even though it may be a little slow to get moving, once it moves, it's well, like a bull. It's going to charge forwards, and I feel like this is how people see you, that you may even be a little tentative before you make a move, but once you go, that's it. There's no stopping you, okay? You have a, this really strong driving force about you. Now, maybe even some stubbornness here, because we've got two fixed signs, Aquarius and Taurus, okay? So people may see you even being quite set in your ideas or set in your ways, Okay, so whether you see that as a good thing or a bad thing, again, that's up to you. Maybe you don't realize. Sometimes we can get stuck in certain habits, routines, and you might be somebody that needs routine, okay? But you may also feel like sometimes you need to branch out a little bit to have a bit of um, fun, a bit of spontaneity, because also Aquarius energy is more shocking, okay? It's more, again, outside the box. It's doing things unexpectedly, whereas Taurus is more about being a little bit more regimented, and more focused. But I feel like there's something about people seeing you, maybe you're doing better financially, or you may be dressing better, like something to do with something practically that you are doing, maybe something you've created. So yeah, if you've been doing better financially, that's something that people are noticing about you. But again, maybe this is something that you 
have put on the back burner, like you haven't thought about. Maybe you've been in a good place for a while, or maybe you've just been so focused for a while, you haven't kind of looked up to see your progress. And that can oftentimes happen, can't it, when we're in the zone. And I almost feel like that's how people ooh, are seeing you right now, is being in the zone, being very focused, and like you are working towards your dreams here. Like people feel like you are the type of person that, that says you're going to like says you're going to do something, but you actually do it. You put in the practical effort and you make things happen. You're not just somebody who says things for the sake of it and then doesn't follow through. You have that follow through. Like you always bring things to a level of conclusion. Okay, but then also people are seeing you as more emotional at this time. So maybe you've been more emotionally open Okay, now obviously what I'm looking at here is people collectively. Now these are going to be people close to you, but also people that are more maybe acquaintances, people you you know of or people that know of you, people that have interacted with you. So it's a collective energy. So there are going to be obviously different perspectives too. Some people may get a more emotional side to you, group three, and other people of course may get a more uh, restrained uh, emotional side to you. So... I just definitely feel like certain people are seeing you as being, maybe having more heightened emotions, maybe you're feeling more sensitive lately, okay? And it's not a good or a bad thing, again, it's just an observation of emotion coming through. So maybe they even realize that you've been through a lot emotionally, maybe you've actually come through some turmoil, and it's like they see you on the precipice of something new, like you're wrapping something up from the past and you're ready to branch into the new now. Okay, so we've got Descendants, the South Node, and the Twelfth House. Yeah, I do feel like people have seen you've gone through something quite painful. Now, this may have actually been an illness, okay, for some of you. I mean, it could be something as, well, we could say minor as a cold, Okay, something viral with the Pisces energy, or this could even be something more long-term, something chronic, or this could even be a family member that's been sick or ill, or even had drug issues, drug or alcohol issues, or this could even be you, okay, that's had these, these problems. But these may be issues that are now in the past, okay, because the South Node represents a connection to the past. But then I get the sense people are also seeing you as maybe still feeling connected to your past in some way. Like you may have like a prominent planet conjunct your south node, like the sun conjunct south node or the moon conjunct south node in your own personal natal chart. Okay, which can lead to identifying in some way with your past. Like for instance, somebody with that aspect could bring up their past a lot even though it's long gone they may bring up things that have happened in the past uh past people they may be able they may be someone that struggles to let go emotionally of the past again it depends on the conjunction but i've maybe be in the seventh house maybe this is like not being able to let go of certain relationships i don't know so that could be how certain people are seeing you but I don't know, maybe you've also recently bumped into somebody from your past, okay? There could be somebody that has, like maybe you didn't speak to for a long time that's cropped back up, okay? So they may be also thinking about the way you were in the past and now comparing it to how they see you now. Now the descendant is, the, is on the cusp of the seventh house, which represents relationships, okay? So people may see you as being in a relationship, being in a long-term relationship, maybe for a long time. Okay, or maybe even having, again, some kind of past relationship issue or trauma that could be connected to it. But something about you identifying, maybe even as a couple, like maybe you're somebody that's always as well seen out with other people, like you're not seen alone in some way. So maybe even that, yeah, you are, or maybe you're somebody that's always in relationships or even has like similar relationship issues. This could even be having a relationship with somebody with um, particular issues, people maybe even that have been in institutions, prisons, um, hospitals, that kind of thing. It's places where people can feel trapped in the 12th house. But it can also represent creativity and spirituality. Okay, so I do feel as well, people feel or notice that you are quite in tune in that way. Like you're an emotional person, but you are also very tapped in to your psychic gifts. And it may even be that it's your emotions that helped you to intuit certain messages, you know, by the way that you feel. 
Okay, so we've got action. Yeah, so people also see you as being on the go, like you're go, go, go. You are, again, not somebody that seems to be in, like you're not somebody that's like a hermit that's in the house all the time. Like you are definitely somebody that is moving around a lot. Okay, maybe you're always relocating or it kind of feels like, you know, you're the type of person that would get up super early, but you will just, you know, from the moment you're up to the moment you go to sleep, there's not a lot of rest. Like you don't give yourself much time to rest. Like you fill your schedule with busy work. Now there may be a little bit of an avoidance there. Maybe that's how you channel your emotions. If you do feel like you are quite emotional or quite sensitive, you may be, yeah, in, in that respect, using time and distraction in order for you to process them or for, in order for you to cope in some way. Okay, you could also be a runner, okay? You could be somebody that is seen as a runner. You could be actually seen running locally, um, whether this is on social media. This could even be about horses specifically. You may ride horses, you may be into horses. Maybe you just even kind of look like a horse. You know, if you are a masculine, maybe you have like a stallion look about you or stallion stamina. Or if you're a woman, you may have very long hair. You may wear it in a ponytail or something. So this may even have more of a physical, something to do with your physical appearance. Okay. Um, you couldn't be born in the year of the horse as well, Chinese zodiac. But also horses are pack animals. Okay, you will rarely see a horse alone if it won't be alone by choice. You know, they are part of the pack and they run free together. And I feel like, again, there's something about you being with another person. So again, you may always be seen in, in twos or even threes or like, yeah, you're not seen. And again, it's not to say you don't spend time alone. This is other people's perception. Maybe you're like, I actually spend plenty of time at home, at home but it's good to know that people think that I'm always up and about and doing things regardless, okay? But again, I feel like even if you are at home group three, I feel like you definitely move around a lot, okay? But oh, interesting as I said that, we've got the rest and rejuvenation, which is really nice to see because I feel like this is definitely what is needed here. Okay, so this might be something for you to just have a level of awareness of, like maybe this is the advice. If you feel like you are somebody that struggles to relax, to relax your mind, to relax your body. Like this is definitely something that's going to help rebalance you. But I feel the fact that this has come through, again, how people see you. So they see you as definitely moving about a lot, being busy, but maybe you are someone that is good at being able to decompress, to take time away when you need to. It just feels like it's a very small period, but maybe that's all you need, group three. Maybe you just need you know, like one hour a day or something alone. And then you can feel like you're busy, busy, busy with other people, maybe even 10 minutes. Okay. It's like, cause they say extroverts recharge around other people, like get charged up, feel, you know, motivated, etc. feel energized and introverts feel they need to be alone to recharge their batteries. Now, I don't know if that's really true. I don't know. Personally, like, I feel like maybe we, we all need a bit of both. Like we, sometimes we need people um, to energize us and sometimes we need time alone to re-energize. They're very different types of energy and I feel like we most probably all need a bit of everything, a bit of both rather, but I feel like everyone's different. Some people need more than others, okay? And I feel like maybe you don't need quite as much alone time, like just enough to sort of put you on an even keel, but like, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like some people just like to do things in groups of twos or threes, like like to go to the gym together, like to go shopping, like to go and eat together. like. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see, one more card here, please. And then we've got the first chakra. Yeah, something about your physical health. Like, I feel like you definitely come across as very strong. Like, I don't know whether yet you work out, you do yoga or calisthenics, some kind of maybe even um, like weighted body exercises, like using your body weight. <clears throat> um, Anything that's going to be toning of the body, even like horse riding, obviously, is going to be very toning for the muscles, okay? Anything where obviously you're exerting force um, and pressure on your muscles, you know, putting a load on there, um, you know, tearing tearing down the muscles to, to build them back stronger, okay? So anything that you're doing, maybe even that you're always doing new things because 
as we know with exercise, if we do the same exercise consistently, we build up a tolerance and we plateau. So we do need to always be shifting and changing even just the routine, the pattern, the exercises, the weights, the reps, or even just the exercise itself, the, the sport itself, deviating there. So you may be somebody that, maybe even that you're multi-talented in lots of different sports, or like you're that type of person that could pick up any sport and you'll be good at it. Because especially if you've got a good base level of strength and flexibility, like you've got the muscle memory, okay? And I feel like you are someone that has a lot of muscle memory and you've got a very strong core specifically that's coming through. Like, I feel like you've got abs of steel. Even if you have like a layer of fat over the top, doesn't matter, the abs are still there. Like you still have a lot of power and a lot of strength. And I feel like people definitely see that about you, okay? Like you're not somebody that people would want to mess with, okay? You're not somebody that people want to trifle with. Like because, yeah, I almost feel like, yeah, you could beat them down if you wanted to. So, like, you've got an edge, group three. You've definitely got an edge. Love it. Okay. So, let's just get a couple more cards of these. Well, then we'll look at the tarot and the fishbowl messages. Patience. Wish. Okay, interesting, as this says... Patience, slow down, change your attitude and clear your mind. So yeah, people around you collectively feel like, yeah, you need to take it a little bit easier. Okay, like you fill up your plate way too much, your schedule too much, and you just don't give yourself enough time. You don't give yourself enough time to rest, to rest your mind or your body. But again, I feel like there's a part of you that's trying to escape, like you're trying to run away from, I feel like, really feel like it's emotionally led. There's something emotional here that's going on for you or something that you're feeling and that is causing you to distract, 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 distract. And distraction is great, but there is, I feel like a need for you to be able to sit still as well to sit still with your thoughts and learn how to control maybe intrusive thoughts that are coming in or to control certain well again you can't control the feelings that are coming in but you control how you react to them but maybe it's like yeah you don't want to even sit still for a moment because maybe you had pain there maybe you feel pain when you do that i don't know but this is how people are viewing you okay that you are somebody that's very patient you will take your time um, as and when it's needed, but it's like maybe you're not moving too quickly in speed, but again, you're not, you're moving too much. Like change your attitude, clear your mind, slow it down. You just need to just do a little bit less. Give yourself a break because, you know, these are people that care about you, okay, predominantly. Um, and they want to see you thrive. They want to see you, you know, rest as well. Give yourself time to recharge. Okay, but they do feel like you're also someone that's very disciplined, you're diligent. You know, if you set a goal for yourself, you will achieve it. Okay, you're not somebody that sets goals and doesn't attain them. You do attain them, even if it takes you a long time to do it. You always get there in the end. And I feel like people very much admire that spirit within your group three. And then we also have wish, so which is Aquarian energy once again. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. So there's that new beginning. So yeah, people are sensing there's, there's a new chapter on the horizon for you, okay? Maybe that's something that you've discussed with people recently. Maybe you've discussed moving somewhere or starting a family, getting a new pet, starting a new career, a new hobby. I don't know. Something about a new beginning is coming through here. Whether you've been discussing it or not, it's coming, okay? And again, this is what people around you are seeing that you don't see, so yeah, you may not realize that there is this new chapter, but it's like the people around you are seeing that you are getting ready for it. You are being prepared for it in some way. Everything that is happening in your life right now is preparing you for this. And it's going to be like a wish come true, okay? There's definitely this very strong wish fulfillment energy in the air, which I love, love to see. Okay, but yes, your heart's desire is ready to come true. So something that you have been truly wishing that would come true whether that's a new relationship you know meeting a soulmate connection having a baby okay whatever that is for you buying a home moving somewhere going on a dream holiday vacation something that your heart truly wishes to come true is coming so you're getting closer to it 
Now we have the devil card here. I just heard making a deal with the devil. <laughs> I don't know why, because I don't feel like you guys are making any deals with the devil. But it's just what came to me. So maybe you feel like that in some way. Oh, in order for me to achieve that dream, I'd have to make a deal with the devil. So you, I get the sense you feel like it's almost impossible. So you may have actually lost a lot of hope in this. Okay, and I almost feel like you're feeling like it's being kept from you. Like, like in quite a harsh way. Like, like there is a devil here going, oh, I'm keeping this away from you, Rick 3. I'm not letting you have your dream. Like, that's, that's how it feels which must be awful. And I feel like this does throw you into a bit of a tailspin because this is what makes you feel like you don't have control in some way. Okay, like you don't have control over your destiny. You don't have control or free will, but it's like we do, we have, you know, you can believe in karma, you can believe in things that are destined, but you can also believe in free will entwined with that. You don't have to believe in only the separations of it. Okay, but in terms of how people are seeing you and what you're not seeing, I mean, people are seeing you being conflicted about some things. We're getting into some more depth here, but mentally, like they see, again, this might be why they see you being busy, okay? Or again, might, maybe why they think you're being so busy, but something about you being unsure, conflicted about making some level of a choice. So maybe they see you being stuck between two options, two people even if you haven't explained that to them. Or maybe they also feel like you might be trapped. For some of you, might there's addiction coming through again in the devil, so they may see you as being, maybe you have like an addictive personality or something. Okay, it's again, not a bad thing. I mean, not to say it's not a bad thing, it's not a pleasant thing to experience, but in terms of, you know, you can't help it if that's the way that you are, if that's, it, it's something that you can hopefully change and, move forwards and adapt but inherently it's not your fault if that's something that you but I would say actually don't even try to identify it don't like make it they say this um in psychology not to make it like a self-fulfilling prophecy so don't like label yourself saying I am or say I have it's better to say I have something to say I am something like I don't know to say I am addicted rather than I have an addiction because it, I have an addiction means like I have an addiction that I could let go of, but say I am addict or I am always addicted or I, I have an addictive personality. That's saying, yes, that is mine. I identify with having that. So certainly if that's something that you might say, maybe you actually say that out loud to people, just be very careful with the words you say, because I truly believe the words we say, the thoughts we have are like spells that we cast upon ourselves. So for good or for bad, be careful about what you say, because again, you can kind of re-emphasize things that you don't want to instill as a personality trait, okay? But I do get the sense people see that you have changed, you've lightened up in some way. So maybe you were quite serious or quite intense previously, or maybe you had a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and a lot of worry, but people feel like you've given up that. Like you you seem a lot lighter, even though there may still be these demons, okay? They may feel like the demons are still there or still crop up. And again, not, you know, literal, but we all have our inner demons. But because of that south node, you know, it's like that connection to the past, like that may still sort of crop up sometimes. It may still come through in your communication, but it's nothing to worry about. Again, this is just... Again, hopefully to help you see things that maybe haven't been as clear to see. And maybe just having the awareness of it can help you to move forwards or help you to create change. Because we can't create change if we don't have the awareness. And then we've got the Ace of Cups in this final position, which is about new love. Okay, new love. So maybe people are seeing you as being in a new love relationship. Okay, obviously you'll know if that is the case. I get this could be about a child, but I actually feel like this is more about you being you being in a better place to be able to offer love. Like you seem to have come through so much, so much turmoil, so much stress in your past. And I feel like you're out of this now, even though, like I said, you may dip in, in and out of feeling badly about things, going back to the past a lot. But I feel like People as a whole are seeing that you have made a lot of positive changes for yourself and that you seem to be more focused on giving, okay, and having an open heart. So 
yeah, even though at times you may feel like, yeah, you're always on the go, like, I still feel like your heart seems a much more open and giving than maybe it used to be. Because look, it's like almost the difference from this darkness to the light. So I feel like people actually see you as being yet yeah, a lot more positive, a lot more a lot free. Free is the word that keeps coming through to me. Like almost like, again, you felt chained, shackled to something before, shackled to an old way of being, habits. But now you just seem much more relaxed, much more focused on positive things. So even though you're busy, this may be that you're focused on just good things in your life rather than perhaps stressful things or negative things. Okay, we've got the card of manifester. So you could be a manifester in the human design or a profile type, okay? Which would actually make sense um, with the energy of you being a fire starter, an initiator, a creator that inspires others to, to follow, you being the inspiration and people following you. So yeah, very much could be, but you don't have to be an, um, a specific manifester, but I definitely feel like you're in a place where you're manifesting a lot of good things. And I feel like people are seeing that. People are seeing maybe even more than you realize. Okay, um, we've got technology. I'm just gonna pull a few here. Okay, let me just get a couple more. So we've got hypnotherapist. So that could be very specific. You could be a hypnotherapist. You could be in hypnotherapy, getting that for yourself. Um, but again, this might just be your overall aura. Like you seem much more mentally stable, calm and relaxed, even though you're physically on the go. Mentally, it's like zen, okay? We've got black, okay? So maybe you've been wearing a lot of black. Okay, that could be very literal. Maybe you've got black hair wearing black nails, I don't know, perfect teeth. Oh, that's a nice descriptor. So people see you as having perfect teeth. Or maybe if you don't feel like you've got perfect teeth, maybe you're just being too picky, <laughs> okay? Because again, like I said, we can all be our own worst critic. But maybe if they really are not great, maybe this is something you've spoken about and maybe this is something you're about to do or you've been asking, you know, actually asking people about advice to get perfect teeth so they know that teeth is important to you. Um, family, okay, so maybe people may see you as being part of, you know, a strong or close family network or maybe this is something you talk about or something that you really want. And we've got the first house, which doesn't surprise me because this represents the head and the physical body. And as I mentioned before, there's a lot of there's a lot of energy coming through about moving the physical body in this pile, you know, being very strong, being very active. Um, but again, being like the first in line, like the manifester is the initiator, the white pool, uh, white ball on the pool table that bounces off and hits the others, gets the game started. So like you may even be somebody that's like maybe you're always first in line for things or you get seen first or first place even you could be somebody that wins things and you get first place um we've got hostile okay that one's a little bit out of left field but maybe again it depends on the people that we are picking up on here collectively for you group three it might be some people are a little hostile i'm um, not hostile maybe some people do see you as hostile you might be somebody that has like a resting bitch face or something but again nothing to be offended by it may be you know, I believe resting bitch faces are protection for certain people. I, I think especially certain people that may be quite sensitive on the inside and it may be that they have a resting bitch face to repel people that are not good for them, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe maybe you are hostile to certain people, which is fair, maybe they deserve it. Coming clean, interesting, because of that addiction energy again, and then coming clean. So this may be, again, people see you as being reformed or coming clean off of something that was very draining or very, you know, that had a possession over you in some way. Okay, but this could also be about coming clean, being op open and honest about something. Okay, so maybe they're seeing you as, yeah, feeling like you need to open up and speak your truth. Now we've got exercise your will. So that makes sense as well with that Taurus energy. It's just a reconfirmation of you having that driving force. Like when you decide to do something, you go after it. Okay, because you may exercise your willpower initially, but willpower isn't always consistent, as we all know. It's discipline that takes us to the end, okay? Because motivation, you know, when we feel motivated, it's great. We can all get moving and do things when we're motivated. It's when we don't feel motivated. It's then that it's the hardest, and that's when we have to rely on discipline to push us through. 
Okay, we've got, I will reach out, karmic, and take a risk. Okay, I'm not sure what the I will reach out is about, but maybe one of these people that we're picking up on here wants to reach out to you. Maybe they've noticed a level up in some way and they want to reach out and come clean with you. I don't know. Maybe they're seeing you as being more emotionally open or available than you once were. Maybe you're more approachable in some way. So maybe that's like you being more available to reach out to others. And we've got karmic. So people see you as having some kind of, yeah, karmic activation here. So they may not term it as that, but they may see it's like, there's like a ripple effect of you being connected in certain situations or with certain people that changes the trajectory of things. I can never say that word. See, that's a bad manifestation right there. I can say the word trajectory. See, there we go. So yeah, it's like, like I said about the, it's just a perfect example. I know I keep repeating it, but the white pool ball on the table that hits the others, like the game can't begin until that one is knocked into them. And it's like, Always people see you as being, yeah, like very impactful in some way like that, okay? Um, and then also take a risk, take a risk. So yeah, people do see you as a risk taker. And I feel like that comes into the innovator within the Aquarian energy of, okay, this might seem unusual, this might seem strange, this is something different, but it's gonna be a risk, but I'm willing to take it. That's how people become truly successful. Okay, by taking risks, because no one truly knows whether something is going to be successful, how it's going to be received. You can have an idea, but no one really knows until you do it. But you are the type of person that does it. Okay, you take the risk, even though, yeah, it seems a little scary. You're not somebody that sits around and assesses risks too long. Like you are more of a, I feel I need to do this, so I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it now. Like, I don't feel like, even though you may have a level of patience, I feel like when you get this drive or this spark of inspiration, it's like you have to go with it there and then. It's like, otherwise you'll lose it. And so this is where the risk-taking energy comes into it and the spontaneity. It's giving me Aries energy specifically, like where you're like, yeah, this is it. It's now or never. Okay, so people definitely see you as having a level of that fire in you where you get things started. You are the initiator here. Okay, but you're incredibly special, group three, and I feel like that's how people really view you. You're one of a kind, okay? There is nobody else like you, and whoever is coming through here really feels like you are incredibly unique, and they really want to keep you in their life, even if it's to impact them not for not so... Oh my God, I can't even say it. Even if it's not to so much positively impact them, but they're just so intrigued by you, and they're always interested to see what you're going to do next, you're incredibly entertaining and, and it's not about you being a clown in any way, um, but it's just like the, the way that you live your life, it's like you're living for that moment today. Like you're somebody that doesn't, that it's like, I could die tomorrow, so I have to live in this moment. Like that's the kind of energy that you give off and that is truly inspiring to other people as well. So there it is, group three. I hope that this resonates with you. Leave a comment below if it does. And don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because your support really does mean the world to me. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now. Okay, group number four. Let's take a look at what people are seeing in you that you're not seeing in yourself at this time. Okay. Now the reading, reason I'm doing this reading is sometimes we can be our own worst critics, okay? And we can really beat ourselves up inside or we can also sometimes not see things that clearly from our own viewpoint. Because if the people around us truly lo love us and care about us, they're going to want the best for us. And oftentimes they can see things about our lives that we can't see. Like we can see things for our friends and our family's lives that they won't necessarily be able to see or pinpoint. Okay, so we're just going to have a collective look though, the people that know you, the close people that know you, but also people on a wider scale that interact with you. What do they see about you that you don't see about yourself? Okay, or maybe this is even something you may have forgotten, you know, a forgotten aspect about yourself. Okay, so let's take a look. 
Okay, we've got Inner Earth, Baby Steps, The Seven Star Sisters, and Your Life is a Canvas. Okay, well, I'm getting a lot of feminine energy here to begin with. Okay, one second, we just adjust everything, we're good, okay. Like here, this artist manifestation, creative accountability. So I do feel like, yeah, you're somebody that does appear very creative. So maybe you are an artist, a poet, a writer, you know, painter, dancer. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of dancing here. So you could actually be a dancer, whether you're a trained dancer or just a natural dancer. Like you've got a, like a natural rhythm okay and the way that you move okay and something about the way that you move is very hypnotizing like i'm always seeing like belly dancing here okay you could actually be a belly dancer you may have that kind of hypnotic movement with your hips okay or well, the way that you move is yeah very hypnotic yeah but also they see you as somebody that you know is very gifted in terms of manifestation so you may have been able to manifest specific things that people find to be quite amazing okay now we've got the seven star sisters so you could actually have sisters okay multiple sisters or you could be seen in a group okay whether this is a group of women could be you know the other way around as well it could be brothers you could have a lot of brothers like i'm just seeing a group of the same sex here okay and i feel like yeah you being seen in this group but it really does feel like a family dynamic Okay, maybe you even have twins or like you're part of a trip, triplet um, sibling gang, <laughs> whatever you call it. Yeah, I'm just seeing lots of people there, but maybe also that, yeah, you're oftentimes in groups, okay, or that you're seen in these kind of family scenarios or friendship scenarios, because it couldn't be your friendships are like your family as well. Blood isn't always thicker than water, as they say. Okay. So we've then got baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. And then we've got inner earth. You'll survive this, new solutions and beginnings. So I do feel like people see you as being very resilient. Okay, like maybe you have, you know, you've been through a lot, but you're somebody that always lands on your feet. Okay, you know, those kind of, like, I was gonna say those lucky people, or I was gonna, then I was going to say like a cat that has nine lives, like falls off a roof, but you're still fine, <laughs> you know? So I feel like people have seen you being knocked back quite badly in some way, but it's like you always come back out on top. You always like try and thrive or strive through whatever struggles or adversity that you face, okay? You don't shy away from issues. Like, and I feel like you are more of a, a fighter than a flighter, Okay, like your response to something would be to fight rather than to flee. Now we've all got that different response system within us, built already built in within us. And well, it's fight, flight, or freeze. Okay, so, and you'll know, it's like if somebody, if you felt like somebody was trying to break in, would you freeze on the spot? Would you go to investigate? Or would you run out the back door? You know, just, I feel like you're more of the, I'm going to go and investigate what's going on. Like, so you'll go to the door, you'll ask who you, who's trying to get in, or you'll try and barricade the door, okay? So, yeah, people definitely feel like, yeah, you're definitely somebody not to mess with or to contend with. Uh, you may have even experience in some kind of martial arts, boxing, okay? Um, but it may be something that's a little softer, something like Tai Chi, or yoga, okay, something about moving, flowing, the uh, moving the energy around, okay. But then people also see you as being highly intuitive and in that, again, you are like the type of lucky person, but again, it seems like luck, but it's more about you following your intuition. Like you may just land in something really good, like, I don't know, like you could win a, like a competition or something, or... You could apply for a particular job that maybe you're underqualified for and people would laugh at you for applying, but then you actually get the job and then other people are kind of envious and go, what? I should have applied for that. How did they end up landing that? Or 
I don't know, something about not even being out of your league, but it's almost like you have these very high goals for yourself, which some people may even see as unattainable goals, but it's <laughs> it's like they think there's no way, there's no way that they can do that. What what are, what are they trying to do? What is group four trying to do here? Like they're not gonna win, they're not gonna be successful. What are they, what are they bothering for? And then it's like <laughs> you surpass their expectations, which shocks them, but also inspires them. Okay, but I feel like it might even shock yourself at points, but you're you're not somebody to look back, okay? I feel like you're not somebody that's hung up on the past. You're very much focused on the present and moving forwards, okay? And you're somebody that likes to put in a lot of practical effort and action every day. And, you know, I feel like people are seeing you as the person that will take these very small but consistent steps to achieve your goals, okay? So, like, you could be seen, like, maybe you know, if your body looks really amazing, or again, you are this talented dancer or musician, or again, sports player even, you could even play sports professionally, and people may even see you as lucky, but they're also seeing that, okay, maybe there's a lucky aspect to it, but at the same time, group four works hard every single day. I see them at the gym all the time, and they're always posting about being, you know, doing their training, or they're always working, they're doing it every single day, um, even if that's just for a few hours, but doing still consistently. And that's what makes you achieve in the end. But it's almost like a sense of you knowing like what's going to trend or something. So maybe even like if you're a, a content creator or something, like maybe you have a little bit of an edge in terms of like knowing what's going to be like the next big thing, knowing what the next trend is going to be and hopping on that. Um, or maybe even you being a bit of a trendsetter and like finding things out before other people and then that being quite inspiring to them. Like I see you almost having the key here to this portal. Like you have a lot of ideas. And again, it's like you get there first. Something about you always getting there first. I don't know what that means specifically. But I mean, it could be multiple things for you, of course. But yeah, I just see you being like first in line, getting to the getting there first, being the first person to know, the first person to experiment with something, first person to try something out, the pers first person to succeed. Okay, so in your social circle or even the slightly wider circle of people that know you. Okay, let's see what else is coming through here. I'm seeing something about paradise here as well. So maybe for some of you, you may have just been on a beautiful holiday to like a Caribbean island. Maybe you've got a picture of yourself in a Caribbean island. Or maybe this is something that you talk about a lot to people. Like maybe this is like your dream location to live or to go on vacation or something. Okay, because I'm seeing all of this beautiful like earthy greens coming through. But then the tropical blues, whites of this white beautiful sand, the turquoise crystal clear water. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like that's almost where you're meant to be. Okay, maybe this is what people are seeing for you. Maybe seeing that, that that's where you should be. Somewhere that is luscious and green, humid. But yeah, with those beautiful waters, somewhere you can relax, but also be in the sun. Maybe to be creative. Okay, so we've got the fourth chakra. Okay, which is beautiful because that's the heart chakra and it's in the upright position. So people are definitely seeing that you have a very strong and a very open heart, okay? And again, just remember this is at this time, maybe at different points your heart's been more closed, okay? Perhaps for some of you that may be the case, but at this moment, people are definitely seeing you as being very loving, like you've got a lot of love to give, okay? Which is beautiful, and they feel like your heart is in alignment, so you might also be somebody that's quite forgiving, like you have compassion for other people, and you have ultimately you have compassion for yourself, because it's like if you don't have compassion for yourself, you'll find it very hard to have compassion for other people. Because it's like if you're always giving yourself such a hard time over things, then you're less likely to give other people, you know, less of a hard time for screwing up. So it feels like you're very well in balance there. And you're somebody that's very like empathetic um, and almost like in a sense, like, you know, that you're special in the sense, like, you know, not everybody is like you in the way that you go after things, the way that you succeed in certain things. Like they know that that's somewhat of a unique gift. Okay, we all possess different gifts, of course, but the way that you're able to be first, the way that you're able to psychically or intuitively know what the next thing is that's going to be great. 
like they just sense that you know that but not and almost like that you deserve it though okay because you i'm just getting like a really positive aura like a bubbly demeanor like you're somebody that's very sweet very loving very kind as well um, and I'm also picking up funny, like something about you being funny, like jovial, like people just want to be around your energy, like a, you know, you've got this warm generating like aura about you. But then we've got the door to romance, which is reversed. So people may see you as having some kind of romantic block. Okay, so maybe that, I mean, we've got the contract card here. So people could see you as being married, okay, which obviously if you are married, um, or see you being in a long-term relationship, okay? For some of you, that could be the case. For some of you, this could be actually like working in law, okay? You may work in law. Um, you may have recently signed a contract or a lease, a car lease, a home lease, okay? It could be something you've been discussing with people recently. Um, but like I said, it could be a relationship for some of you. But for instance, you could be in a relationship, but it not be romantic, Okay, but something about people are seeing that you are not getting, or you don't have romance in your life at this time, okay? Or that maybe is something that you have been open about, expressing that you don't have romance, okay? But I also feel like, yeah, people really see you as a fair person. You're not somebody that wants um, to have conflict, even though you're somebody that, again, your, your response system may be to fight in a particular way, but I don't feel like it's necessarily fighting with people, but, you know, fighting for what you really believe in, okay? And then we've got Door to Spirit in reverse and then Queen of, uh, Queen of Coins in reverse. So in terms of how people are seeing you, now they may feel like you've become a little bit lost at times, maybe even lost in the spiritual world. You know, if you're somebody that is, you know, very creative, maybe even very psychic or in tune with your spirituality, they may even feel like you've over-focused on it at certain times or become obsessed with it. So, <laughs> you know, take that if it resonates, okay? But I do feel like some are also thinking that, yeah, there's something about you feeling lost or seeming lost, like you've lost your way. But again, I don't feel like that's actually true, okay? Again, this is just their perception of what they see or think of you. But I feel like you... I feel like you're on the right path, okay? But maybe you have been feeling a little lost at points. Like I'm seeing like a, like, like a lost little lamb. So maybe, the, yeah, that's how you're feeling. Well, that's certainly how they're seeing you at the moment, okay? But then we've also got the woman holding a coin. So this could be there's been some kind of health issue, financial issues with a female, okay? This could be yourself, could be somebody else, could be, you know, a family member, a friend, Okay, that's been having their own issues that you're dealing with, perhaps, or caring for. Um, or again, this is like your own potential issues, insecurities even. Okay, but let's just get some more information. What people are seeing in you now that you are not seeing in yourself. Okay, so we've got thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring, new, bring in a new and positive future. And then we've got unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Okay. So it's interesting that we've got thorns here. And I really feel like this is connected to love, like to love relationship. Like people may see that maybe you've got like thorns or protection around your heart. Like your heart is like almost so pure. I feel like people actually want to protect you from being hurt, okay? Like they don't want to see you getting hurt. So you clearly make a very lovely impact on them, okay? But I feel like it's not even intentional. This is just how pure your heart really is, group four, four how pure your soul really is. People see that, okay? That's so obvious to them. But they feel like you've been through enough. You've been through enough and it's your time to truly be happy. And I feel like most of the people around you, Okay, so any people that care about you really want you to find the person that you feel at unity with, in unity with, or unison with. Okay, now even if you're in a relationship now, if there are issues, they want you to feel happier in that relationship or there to be more romance. Or maybe for you to not be as guarded about the relationship. If you have been quite guarded or keeping it to yourself, they may want more openness, to see more openness. But again, just because that's what they want doesn't mean that's what they get. That's obviously your call. But for some of you, if you have been single for a long time as well, maybe you've been so much focused on other things, but people are, 
you know, ready and waiting for you to be in that loving, great relationship. And they feel like you're ready for it too. You know, you radiate and attract great love. So I feel like people, like I said, you know, with that generating, enveloping warm aura that you have, people are seeing that within you. Like you have that, that warmth that attracts them. Like they want to be close to you. It's magnetizing. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Coins. What are people seeing in you that you're not seeing in yourself? Okay, the Ace of Coins can represent some kind of new beginning here. This could be a new job you've been beginning. This could be even having a baby. Okay, maybe there's something that you've been speaking about, having one child. One child in particular is coming through here. Hmm. But people are saying, yeah, that there is something you're anxious about, but you might not be sharing. So maybe this is connected to children, like you're anxious about children or your own child if you have one already. Anxious about when you're going to have a family or some kind of connection. Yeah, people are definitely saying that you're somebody that may overthink at points. Ow, and I'm getting a, I'm getting a, like a stabbing pain. Hold on. Ow. Ow, this is really... <clears throat> it's in like my lower abdomen on the right side, but it feels like it's going through my hip. I don't know what the hell that was about. I don't... Ow. Okay, it's coming back. Jesus. I don't know if somebody has got... Um, if you've got back pains or you've got some kind of physical issue... <laughs> It's manifesting. I might need to wrap this up in a second. Well, I'm just, I want to get some fishbowl messages though, so I'm going to try and power through it. I'm sure it'll go. Um, I don't feel like this is my pain. It's a weird pain. It's in a weird place, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, but we've got the King of Swords there as well. So I don't know whether people might see you being in a relationship with somebody that's very strict, maybe very mean, harsh with their words, or maybe even a bit distant. Or blunt, actually, of all the words to come out. Blunt. So people might see you as being quite blunt. Um, but also, yeah, you might be connected to, or maybe you're attracted to, like, blunt people or something. So we've got children that flew out there. I'm just going to get a couple more of these. I've still got that pain. And it's... I need to wrap this up. Okay. Ow. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay, maybe that's a message for me. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> maybe, that, again, maybe people are seeing you as having a break. Maybe you've had a social media break or you've had a break from certain people. Maybe on a break in a relationship. Hold the line, how weird is that? Yeah, like you are holding, waiting for something, holding the line, putting somebody else on hold. No remorse, so maybe they see you as having no remorse for something or maybe someone else had no remorse for you in a situation. We've got calm before the storm dead end stay present but like i said i mean that makes sense i do feel like you are more focused on the present i don't see you going into the past really i don't see you like you're not the type of person that's keeping in contact with loads of exes or anything i feel like maybe even if you see it as a dead end you cut it off like you're blunt like you're done okay and i feel like again you're focused if anything more on the future which is what may bring you the anxiety because as they say it's depression that can be being stuck in the past and anxiety can be about being too focused on the future. Okay, when you come to the present, you can find that that place of calm. Okay, because there is a need for, I feel like this may even be like people see you as being a bit of a worrier. Like you may worry about what is ahead all the time, but worrying about things that haven't happened or don't even have a likelihood of happening. But yeah, I just feel like that comes into the overthinking. And I feel like, you know, your mind is very stimulated, group four. I feel like there's, you've got a lot going on in your mind a lot of the time. And I feel like it's just your natural way of, you know, trying to find a way of getting into peace. It's like you may get these intrusive thought streams, but it's like you can't help that. But then you try to distract yourself and move into other areas. Okay, but it's like, yeah, people almost see you being you know, over-prepared maybe for the potential storms to come, but, you know, that maybe sometimes you need to just be okay in the present moment and to let go of 
what is next, okay? Um, and then we've got the third house, which is about communication, okay? And it also represents siblings as well. So again, it could be you are you know, part of a very strong or very close family unit. Again, maybe you just recently have pictures with uh, siblings or something or, or neighbours as well. Third house can represent our neighbours, but also the places that we go to regularly, like our work, like a school, uh, the gym, nursery, taking the kids, whatever. Okay, those places we go to regularly on a daily basis is third house energy. So again, I feel like people see you kind of being on the go a lot. Okay, so again, maybe you are like, you always seem to be running a lot of errands. Okay, but again, it's like you're in a, like a lighthearted energy. It's not like you're somebody that's coming across as intense. Um, you Again, you always seem very uplifted. If what sometimes, yes, you may feel a bit anxious, but I don't feel like you show that just to everybody. I feel like only the people really that are closest to you, group four, see, you know, when you're overthinking, when you're, you know, ruminating too much. Um, I feel like as a collective, people don't see you that way. If anything, they see you as more of a calm, tranquil person, but someone that's, you know, moving around a lot, but like, doesn't seem like a lot phases you. Okay, that's the energy, the overall energy that I see. But I really do feel like if you are currently single, I feel like there is a love relationship coming in for you. <clears throat> okay, or if you're in a dead end relationship right now, there's something new coming in in terms of love. Okay, or even if the relationship now, it, it'll transform into something much greater, much more romantic. And I feel like that's what you really need. And I feel like that's what people actually want for you. To, for you to feel, feel a bit spoiled, for you to feel, you know, like you're treated really nicely and like, you know, you're cherished in some way because you're such an innocent, sweet soul and you deserve the world. Okay, group four. So I really hope that this resonates with you and please feel free to share in the comments if it did resonate. Would love to have your feedback. And if you did enjoy this reading, please give it a, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is just below. I do hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.